Allah states. Now we must understand that the name of this chapter, chapter 5 of the Quran, is called Surah Al-Ma'idah. Ma'idah. It's called the table spread. The name of this chapter is called Ma'idah, which means the table spread or the food spread. And now we're coming to the point of the story in the Quran, why it's called the table spread, right? We're starting right here on verse 112. Allah states, I billahi min shaitan rajeem. And remember when the disciples said, remember when the disciples said, they said, oh Jesus, son of Mary, can your Lord send down to us a ma'ida? Can he send down for us a table spread from the heavens? Can you ask your Lord to send us some food? We're told in the top scene that they were hungry at that time. Right? Remember, they're on, they're on the run. Right? They were Isa the people trying to kill him. Isa he's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's getting out of Dodge. He's going from city to city. Right? Trying to get out the way. He picks up his disciples. Now they rocking with Isa the So the same persecutions that Isa the is going through, they're going through it too. So we're told in the top scene that the food was scarce. They was hungry. So they're like, Isa, can you holler at your Lord? Can you ask your Lord to send us some food from the heavens? Now remember, there was another type of people that did that as well, right? With Musa the Salaam, remember? They said, can you ask your Lord to send us down these, you know, these type of foods? We're tired of this food. Can you send us down some food? And what did Allah do? He sent them down food from the heavens, the manna, the quail, the water. Remember? Same people, Bani Israel again. So they went east of Islam. So now they said, hey, can you ask Allah to send us down some food? He said, Jesus said, fear Allah if you are truly of the Mu'minin. So we're talking to the top saying that when they asked Isa alayhi salam for the food, Isa alayhi salam said, man, have talk with Allah. Man, it's better for you to endure. Right? Because you might get tested with this fitna. Right? Allah will send you down some food. Because once he sends you down that food, it's going to be a wrap. Right? If you disbelieve after that, it's going to be a wrap. So he said, have fear of Allah. Have talk with Allah if you are truly of the mu'mineen, truly of the believers. Verse 113, they said, the disciples said, after Jesus said, have taqwa, they said, we wish to eat from it. We want something from the heavens. We wish to eat from it and to have our hearts fortified in faith. Right? We only want this so that Allah can increase us in iman. Remember the same thing with Ibrahim alayhi salam, excuse me, with Musa alayhi salam, Right? Musa alayhi salam said, oh Allah, show me yourself, you know what I'm saying, so I can increase in my belief. I'm only asking because I'm going to increase in my belief. Same thing here. Right? The disciples, man, we want to eat from it, man, so we can be increased in our faith, fortified in our faith. And that we would know that you certainly told us the truth. So if you have Allah sent down this food for us, if you have Allah sitting down this food for us, we see it come down, we eat from it, man, it's going to fortify our hearts, right? And we will know that you spoke the truth. We'll know that you spoke the truth. Right? So you know, Jesus said, Salaam, I already spoke the truth. But they wanted him to give them some type of information or some type of sign, right? And that, and that we would know with certainty that you told us the truth and that we can bear witness upon it. We can tell the people that we've seen it, we ate it, we witnessed it, right? Jesus said, Jesus said, Oh Allah, so now Jesus made dua to Allah, brother Allah. that's what y'all want? You want Allah to send down some food? He made dua to Allah. Jesus said, Oh Allah, our Lord, send upon us a table spread from the heavens. Send down that food from the heavens so that it will be an eid for us 
for the first and the last of us and a sign from you and provide for us for you are the best of those who provide. So we're told that Isa a.s. after they said ask your Lord to send down some food. And again we're talking about the Ma'idah. Why is chapter 5 called the Ma'idah? Why is chapter 5 called the table spread? So Isa a.s. made dua to Allah, oh Allah send down that table spread. Right? So he sent down that table spread and said, Oh Allah, send down this table spread so we can eat from it and it can be an Eid for us. It can be a festival for us. For the first and the last of us that eat from it. Verily, you are the best of those who provide. We're told in the top seer that the day that they sent down, or the day that Allah spoke to sent down that food, they took it as a festival or a day of special prayer, right? And Allah sent down his food as a sign. We're told that in Tafsir, that when Allah said, Allah sent down this table spread from the heavens, Allah sent down seven fish and seven pieces of bread. Seven fish and seven pieces of bread. And everybody that was there, from the first to the last, got to eat whatever they wanted to eat, and it didn't diminish from the food. This was a food that came directly from heaven. This was a food that came directly from the heavens. And we're told in the top seer that it never ended until somebody stole from the food. Right? Somebody took extra. Remember with Bad Israel? Remember earlier with Musa the Islam with the Sabbath? He said, don't manipulate with the food, right? Allah sent down the manna and the quail. Every day they got fresh food. They didn't have to worry about it. But what did they do? Same thing. Oh, but well, we think that, you know, we can get the fish on the day that we're not supposed to fish. They set up the nets and everything, right? So they manipulated, right? So Allah turned the what? Into monkeys and pigs. Same thing here. Allah was sending them food every day. Come on, man. Allah was sending them food every day. But some of those from Bay Israel, some of those that didn't believe, they said that some of them stole from the food. Well, we don't, what if Allah don't give us the food tomorrow? What happens if it don't come tomorrow? Let us take some extra and they stole from it. And once they stole from the food, we're told that the food ascended back to the heavens. Allah took it away from them. All right? Then Allah put us in. Allah said, I am going to send it down. I'm going to send down this food. But whoever from amongst you disbelieves afterwards, I'm going to send you this food. You want this food from heaven? I'm going to send it to you. But whoever disbelieves afterwards, then verily I will continuously punish that person with a punishment that I've never punished anybody else in the Alameen, in the world. So Allah said that I'm going to send down this food from the heavens, just like you asked. But if you disbelieve after this, right, you see this food come down, you taste this food, right, you eat this food, but you disbelieve after that, you still ask me questions. You still asking me for certain things that I will punish you with a continuous punishment like a punishment that I've never punished anybody before ever in life. Okay? And we're told in the top seer that those that are the most punished in the hellfire, those that are the most punished in the hellfire are the people of Pharaoh, right? Because they kept disbelieving. And the people of the Ma'ida, those who were there in the time of Isa and Salam, and Allah sent down that fool. They stole from the food, or they disbelieved after Jesus after that situation. Right? These are the worst punished people ever. These will be the worst punished people in the hereafter on the day of judgment in the hellfire. Understand that. So this is the reason for the story of Ma'ida. This is the reason why this chapter is called Ma'ida. Chapter 5 of the Quran is called Ma'ida. It's called the table spread. Why is it called the table spread? Because of this story right here. Okay? 